Hi, my name is Fivos, and in this video, we're going to talk about the wish list and B2B quote taking function in Publitas Enterprise. So, this feature is designed to enable your customers to be able to compile a list of products that they're interested in as they go through your publication and interact with it. And there are a, a variety of different use cases that you might want to enable this. Perhaps you are a supermarket retailer and you don't have e commerce, but you want to push Robo customers to store, or maybe you are a high end jewelry retailer and you want to uh, enable customers to have an interactive inspirational catalog to become aware of your products and look at different products. But ultimately, customers will actually go to the store to try that product on and buy it. In a B2B use case, perhaps you want to enable customers to build up a list of products in bulk that they want to get a discount for that doesn't have a predetermined price. And so you can enable them to go through the publication, build the list that they're interested in, and then send that off to your sales team for a quote. So here are a couple of examples. Here we have an example from Gratis. You'll see that as the customer goes through, on the product hotspots, there is an option to save the products that they like to a favorites list. And that list is accessed on the left-hand menu. Uh, in here, the customer can choose different quantities of that product. And then there are a couple of different options for how to share it. Either put in an email address and it will be sent over email or even over WhatsApp. So let's send this publication via WhatsApp. If I open my WhatsApp here, you can then choose who you want the recipient to be. And the message will be pre-populated, including a link to the publication, a title saying, hey, check out my favorite products from title of the publication, which products were in the favorites list, including quantities and pricing, which can then be sent off to a family member or anybody else. If we take a look at this B2B example here, in much the same way, the customer can save products to a list, although you'll note there is a different icon in this case. Also choose and choose quantities of the product and remove the product from the list. But instead, you can set a predetermined sales email address, which the quote will go to. And then what your sales team will receive is an email with the contact email address of the customer and the product titles, including the volume of each product that they were interested in for them to then reach out and finalize the sale. So in order to enable this in your Publitas account, Publitas Enterprise is required, and this is enabled on a group level. So go to the publication reader settings, menu items, and then scroll down to my favorites. Here is where you can choose from a couple of different icons. We've seen the heart and the bookmark, but there is also a star icon. And if you want to use it as a sales request form, you are required to put in a sales email address. Although this means if you have multiple groups in your account for different regions, you could add in multiple different sales email addresses for those different groups. And then you can add in a custom title, call to action and confirmation message for when the customer uses the feature. So thank you for watching. If you have any additional questions about the wishlist in Publitas or any other topics, please get in touch via our contact form.